Hello, I'm from the Australian Government. Welcome to the Anthropocene. Fires, floods, bullshit. We know this summer's devastating fires have been hard for you, but they've been hard for us too. We've been forced to accept the science, kind of. Sure, it took the country being reduced to an ashen tomb for people, homes, trees and over one billion animals. But hey, better late than never, right? Due to this catastrophe, we've decided it's time to take action. Introducing our new and updated climate policy. Get fucking used to it. And to get fucking used to it, we pledge to finally acknowledge climate change is real and commit to doing jack shit about it. We'll be using words like resilience and adaptation. And what this all means is get fucking used to it. Choking on smoke, kids in gas masks, dead fireys, dead animals, dead homes, dead reefs, and a dead tourism industry. No problem. Try get fucking used to it. It's all part of the new and exciting stage of our abusive relationship with you, where rather than ceasing our shit fuckery, we we tell you your only choice is to adapt to it. And that, kids, is how you gaslight a nation. Speaking of gas, we haven't even waited for the fires to end to spend shit tons of your money for more gas we don't need, but which will help ensure the next fire season is even worse. So as things start to fall apart, and let's be clear, this summer was just a taster, you might want to start organising your own communities. Because you're on your own, dickheads. We'll be in Hawaii sending thoughts and prayers. What's that? You thought our job is to keep you safe? Oh, sweetheart, our real job job is to keep them safe from you. That's why, as we just saw, your big sack of shit in chief will take the heat for them during climate disasters. And it's why, if terrorists had caused the fraction of the damage these fires did, we'd go to war. But since it was mainly caused by our donors, we'll go and reward them with approvals to build this tumour, drill for oil in the bite, and launch the most polluting project ever built in Australia. Relax. We only contribute 1.3% of global emissions. Well, 4% if you count our exports. Which makes makes us the fifth biggest emitter. And per capita, that makes us approximately the fucking worst. But why let facts get in the way of a solid bullshit excuse? Well, because the last thing we want you to realise is that, far from being insignificant, Australia's the best place nation to lead on climate action. We have the wealth and knowledge. And we're basically the world capital of sun porn. Unfortunately, it's also governed by us, the most corrupt gaggle of egregious shitlords, led by a man steeped in a delusional apocalyptic cult whose idea of leadership is to force people who've lost everything to shake hands before telling them to get fucking used to it. Join us next week for more on how we'll keep sinking your money into bullshit grants and tourism ads rather than properly funding fire services and clean energy. Australian Government. So where the bloody hell are you? No, seriously, we can't see you through all the smoke. Authorised by the Department for Thoughts and Prayers.